Hey guys, I'm Sean Henry with Pepperland Marketing, and today I'm going to tell you about the submitted URL has crawl issue notification in Google Search Console and what you can do about it. So the submitted URL has crawl issue notification in Google Search Console is a bit of a confusing notification, and it seems like it's one that bubbles up a lot. So I'm going to try to explain what that could mean, but what you need to know about it is that this issue is a bit of a, a wild card or a catch-all. Um, if you were to think of a form that has a drop-down with a bunch of options and then there's an other at the end, that's what this notification is. Um, it didn't match any of the other criteria that Google had uh, for its different set of warnings and notifications that it, it can offer you through Google Search Console. So you have to do a little bit of investigating to find out what the problem actually is. Um, so to start, let's actually look at the definition that they provide, and that is that you submitted this page for indexing and Google encountered an unspecified crawling error that doesn't fall into any of the other reasons. Try debugging your page using Fetch as Google. So as I mentioned, it's a bit of a catch-all for anything that didn't fit any of their normal issues. Um, now, Google does give you several tools that you could use to diagnose the problem. But what I suggest doing first is to actually open up the page that has the warning in your browser and see if anything looks funny. Now let me show you a real example. Um, this is our Google Search Console and we just got a notification just this morning that we had a page on our site where um, Google encountered an issue and gave us the warning, submitted URL has a crawl issue. Now the URL is for a job posting that we have up on the website. And if I click on this, it's going to open up a panel that gives me several different options. I have testrobots.txt, fetches Google, view a search result, and submit to index. But like I said, you want to open up this page in your browser first to see if anything stands out to you. Now I did this prior to recording the video and I noticed the page wouldn't load. And Chrome is giving me a warning that says, pepperlandmarketing.com redirected you too many times. Try clearing your cookies. Error, too many redirects. So, that is what the problem was in this particular instance. Um, this URL was redirecting to a different URL that then redirected to a different URL that redirected to a different one and it was this endless loop so Google could never load the page so it didn't actually know what the problem was and that's why we got this generic message that there was a crawl issue without much more detail. So the way I would solve this is to clean up my redirects. I would make sure that um, the URL only redirects once if at all and then Google should be able to crawl, index, render that page without issue, and this error would probably go away. Now, there's many other things that could happen. I'm gonna give you another example. So, um, this is a page that has a lot of JavaScript, um, that uses a lot of JavaScript to render the, the content of the page. It also uses a lot of CSS. And it's basically an event calendar. I could hover over this. Um, and there's all sorts of interactive stuff that happens. Um, but, you know, as I mentioned, this is largely driven by JavaScript. Now, many websites make the mistake of blocking their JavaScript and CSS files from Googlebot. Now, if you do that, Google's not going to be able to render and display the page the same way I just did. Um, it's going to see a bunch of noise. It's going to look really ugly. And in some cases, it won't see any content at all. Now, just as an experiment, I blocked all those different scripts to show you what I mean. And um, let's pretend I went into Google Search Console, clicked on this page, and opened up this panel, and I have my testrobots.txt and fetches Google. We're going to use fetches Google here, click on that, and it's going to bring you to a page that looks like this. You're going to submit the URL. Um, you'll have the option to either fetch or fetches re fetch and render. You want to select fetch and render. And then you're going to get this side-by-side -side comparison of what a person going to the website might see compared to what Googlebot saw. And here you can see Google did not see the page the same way that we would. Um, it's listing out all those event listings as just rows as opposed to this nice visual that I showed you before. And that's because I've blocked all my JavaScript on this page. If you scroll down a little bit, you're going to see a list of all those resources that have been blocked you're going to want to go back and make sure those are unblocked um, so that Google can fully render your page as it's trying to crawl and understand it. So those two things are the, probably the two most common things that I've seen. 
um, with this particular notification. There may be other things, but the key is to first open it up in your browser, see if anything funny is going on, and then to actually render it as Google would using the Fetch's render tool. A third thing you could try is to download the version of Chrome that Google uses as it's crawling the web. Um, we can include a link to that version uh, in the comments here if you'd like to check that out. Um, that way you could see your content exactly as Googlebot would as it's going through your website. Now once you've resolved the issue, you're going to want to go back into Google Search Console and um, let's go back here. You're going to go back to Submit as Index, uh, Submit to Index and go through the process of asking Google to recrawl and index your content. And that will hopefully solve the issue. If you have any questions or some interesting examples to share with us, definitely let us know in the comments and be sure to subscribe and stay tuned for future videos.